Закрой глаза и ложите спать Скоро будет новый день Позволь мне думать о том Как превращается прекрасная мечты ваши Я на цыпочках, возможно, вы по пробуждении Утром, когда солнце встает Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Adam W. Rodriguez, and today I'm going to be doing a speed art video that involves skulls and unicorns. Throughout the video, I also plan on talking about like stories and books that feature unicorns. And I was actually quite surprised, uh, especially considering how much fantasy I've read in my lifetime, as to how few books uh, that I've read that actually feature unicorns. Uh, so um, I am going to talk a little bit about that, and I'm also going to talk a bit about uh, the techniques that I'm using in this particular painting. Uh, and I'm really excited to uh, get started with it. So uh, let us begin. So as you see, I did a lot of um, white crayon work here and what I wanted to do in this particular piece is sort of test the limits of this technique that I use where I use a white crayon to act as sort of a waterproofing to, to, to keep the watercolor from bleeding too much into that section of the painting. So what I wanted to do is put a whole bunch of like really really thick crayon on the bones of the unicorn and the skeleton and then later on I plan on just saturating it with watercolor um, like purples and blues and really really dark stuff because I want the uh, between the rib bones to be extra dark uh, but I also want that white to pop so you're gonna see later on in this video how this uh, approach to the technique actually works out So when I think about unicorns in like fantasy fiction that I've read, uh, I do think about one particular chapter in this one book called The Once and Future King by T.H. White. Uh, that particular book is a retelling of Arthurian mythology, you know, King Arthur's tales. So this particular chapter focused on a character named uh, Morgos or Morgos. Uh, I've heard it pronounced different ways. She was the Queen of Orkney, and she was also uh, King Arthur's sister. Now, she's being courted in this chapter by these other kings, and these kings are taking her on these unicorn hunts. Well, subsequently, her children feel neglected by her. Uh, and so they decide, her children decide, that they're going to go and hunt and kill a unicorn to garner their mother's love and attention. Uh, they go to a local village, they convince this kitchen maid to come with them on this hunt, and she agrees. Uh, she's a virgin, and she's very pure. So they take her out into the forest, they tie her to a tree, and then this unicorn is lured towards her. And when that happens, all the kids fall upon this unicorn and slay it. And after they kill it, they realize they can't drag this really heavy horse all the way back to the castle. So they end up beheading it. And even the head itself is quite heavy, so they end up dragging that all the way back to the castle. And T.H. White makes it a point to say how, like, disheveled and all, you know, messed up this head becomes just from being dragged all the way back. Uh, so they display the head, and when they do that, and their mother shows up, she totally doesn't even see it. She just passes right by. I think it just affected me on this weird level. I was like, this is a really strange chapter. It's all about the death of this pure, pure thing. And when it's killed, it doesn't mean anything. And it's just like a chapter, like I said. It, it's never mentioned uh, afterwards. Uh, but um, it was, it affected me. I remember it con kind of lingering in my head for several months after I read it. <laughs>
these extra saturated colors of purples and blues all on top of that uh, white crayon that I put on the bones of the unicorn and the skeleton. And as you can see, it's totally starting to drown it out. So I made a interesting discovery in my experiment, and that is that my white crayon technique is not like wholly effective, right? Uh, I still have to be careful about how I paint around uh, these areas that I think might be more waterproof. They're less waterproof than I thought they were. Uh, which is really, really interesting. And I wonder if it has something to do with quality of paper uh, or, and stuff like that. So I might try this experiment again with more, um, with more absorbent uh, watercolor style paper. So since my crayon technique didn't quite work the way I wanted to to make those bones pop, I have now taken a thing of white acrylic paint and just went over the bones themselves just to make those things pop out. I had this as a contingency if it didn't work and apparently it didn't work and then my contingency did work. So uh, sometimes it's good to have you know an extra plan uh, if you don't know if your results are gonna be exactly what you want. <laughs> So when I consider books that actually feature unicorns, there's very, very few that I can really, really think of. Uh, the one that keeps coming up in my research is uh, The Last Unicorn by Peter S. Beagle. Uh, it was written in the 1960s, and a lot of people are more familiar with the film that came out in the 1980s. And it was a spectacular film. It had a wonderful uh, voice cast. Uh, and the movie itself was very, very popular, and I personally loved it uh, quite a lot. But I understand that the book is actually really, really good. It's even been hailed by Pat Patrick Rothfuss as one of his favorite fantasy novels of all time. So I, I think I, I do need to read it. Mention in the comments if you've actually read The Last Unicorn and, and tell me what you think. I'm really interested to know. Yeah, check that out. I really, really enjoyed the way this bad boy turned out. Uh, it sold as soon as I posted it on my uh, Facebook feed. Um, somebody bought the piece pretty quick, like within a couple of hours of posting it, which is always the best kind of case scenario for me when I am uh, doing paintings. I will turn this into a print later on so people can buy the print at the much cheaper price. Uh, but hey, who, who doesn't like it when your art sells? I know I do. <laughs> Awesome. I really hope you enjoyed watching this speed art video. Uh, I know I enjoyed making it. We will see you next time here at the Arts of R. Ciao.